E-gamer girls, like Pokimane, are pulling in insane figures a year because there's a high demand for gamer girls. Luckily, we can replicate this with AI. Yes, with this new tool, we can build our e-gamer girl. Then I will show you tools to make your gamer girl appear on live Twitch streaming with a voice changer and all. Now, this is important because a lot of gamer girls use the platform to advertise their exclusive content page, something like this. So I think that I am actually the best female the Call of Duty player in the world. If you don't like it, go kick it. So let's get started. Don't forget to like this video, it'll be worth it. Okay, so let's kick things off. The tool we are going to use for this is called RenderNet. Just search for it, then click on the first link you see. The link should be in the description. Now why I chose this is because it is tailored towards AI influencers in general, since specifically AI streamers. You will see what I mean. If you go down, you can see that you can create unique, consistent characters. Consistency is the keyword here, and you will see how very easy it is on this site. And if you're doubting it, look at the level of realism these examples have. If you're looking for that amateurish and realism look, this platform would suit your needs. And in our case, it is going to be a streamer slash e-girl. So you can create virtual influencers, do filmmaking, advertising, music, social media, any single thing you want. And as you can see, not only does the tool make consistency as easy as taking candy from a baby, but you can also replicate poses from various other images. You can manage to get all those hot poses from e-girls and make your own streamer do the same pose. I'm going to show you how to use all of these and advertise your streamer girl perfectly. And as you can see for the videos, we're also going to make a lot of videos here. And this tool is perfect for it as well. I'm talking image to video and realistic lip syncs. And there are already a couple of influencers doing this and they are using it to sell their exclusive content page. This is because the demand for e-gamer girls is high and very massive. And as I said, it's reality. So let's cut the chit chat and get started. So just scroll back up and click on create now. Once you're here, you should be presented with this interface. Now, as I said, this is tailored for every single thing you need for AI influencers. And these are some of the pre-made custom characters. Of course, we can't use this since they are pre-made, but you can see you can get an idea of how easy it is. Before I show you how to do ours, let's test out a pre-made one. So you can just pick any of these girls, maybe this one, Josie, then type in your prompts. You can leave this prompt. Then you can generate either videos or images. Let's first of all try with an image. Now it's done. It barely took any time, and you can see how very realistic it is. The skin texture is top-notch here. It got everything perfectly. And you can click on video in order to make her come alive. Choose portraits, then click on done. And what it's going to do is it's going to turn this into a video. So as you can see here, this is just for this scene now. And you can just type in the prompt. And as you can see, if you go here, it is powered by runway. You can select the timing here. We'll just leave it at five seconds and then click on generate. And as you can see, it's done. And boy, just look at how realistic it is. Nothing like morphing and nothing like weird lighting. Literally everything is clean and you can go ahead and download it. So how do you proceed with our AI streamer? For that, you can go back here or rather go here. So here you can see you can create your own character. This is for easy consistency. So for this, we need, first of all, our base image. So scroll down. Then this is like their community. You can get inspiration from this, but we need to create how our girl looks like. For that, you can go to AI Studio. It will take you back to this place. Then select image. After that, if you go here, you can type in your prompt. For this, I'll open ChatGPT. Then basically tell it to write a very detailed prompt for our influencer, or rather, our streamer girl. Prompts like this are in the description. And then press enter, and let's see what it cooks. It's done, and you can copy it. Then go back to RenderNet and paste it in here. Afterwards, you can adjust the prompt however you see fit, but I'll just leave it like that. Then you can, if you already have your character, come here. But since we're just creating our own, you can go back here, select the aspect ratio. We want portrait. Then image count at three would be fine. After you can choose whether you want flux, flux photo, or candid portrait, or anyone. I think we will leave all three of them turned on for more variety. Since this is the base picture, so since we are mixing, there should be about nine images. Then when you're done, you can click generate. And as expected, it has done a wonderful job with every single one of them. Now you can just pick any one that you like. I can go for this. Of course, you can turn it into a video and stuff like that. If you wish, you can upscale it whether 2K, 4K, or even 8K. But we don't need this yet since we're just going to turn this into our character for easy consistency. Now you can go here to character, then click on create new. Then we can now upload our image, the one we just created. 
So yeah, I've uploaded it. We can now crop most of the unwanted part. Click on next. Then just fill in these details. And then just type in her name, then click on done and it's creating it. And now in barely any time it has created it and we can now use it. Now we don't need all of these prompts. It will automatically generate the image with her face. So you can just go to character and you can select our model and you can choose the character strength, but we will leave it at this. Now we can type in our prompts and this is where we turn her into a streamer girl. So now just type in the prompt. Then I'll just paste the other part of the prompt. Then I will change the aspect ratio. We want something more of a wide screen. Then leaving the settings the same, we can click on generate. So now it's done and you can just pick out the best. I think this one really tried. With this one, it got everything perfectly. And this one as well. You can see that it is very consistent and we can maybe turn this one into a video. But first of all, let us upscale it. We'll choose 8K resolution for this, click on upscale. Okay, so it is done. And this is the result, it looks much better. And we can turn this into a video. So just click on video, you can set it to landscape. Then you can type in your prompt. I normally don't go too overboard with this one. Then we will still leave it at five seconds and then we will click on generate. Okay, it's done and let's check it out. So from the get go, you can see everything is perfect. Everything moves smoothly. And unlike other video generators, this is nothing like blurring. So I think it did a wonderful job. Yeah, so we can download it. Now, if you want more of a first person, actually not first person, but if you want more of a streamable look with a front view, we can prompt this better because as you can see, it looks like the camera is coming from the side, which isn't always convenient as streamers have multiple views. So for this, we can just go back to the image generator, then add in the prompts. Okay, so you can just type in a prompt like this. The prompts are in the description, hopefully. Then what you can do is go on Google and search for a streamer girl. So I've got this one over here. You can download this, then go back to RenderNet. Click on Pose Lock and upload the photo. Then you can click on Generate. Now, these are the images that it generated and as you can see, they are all realistic and in the perfect perspective for streaming. A few mistakes in some, but overall, they are perfect. And we can turn this into a video. For this, I'll use a different prompt. But I won't go too overboard. Then when done, you can click on Generate and let's see how it does. So now in only about five minutes, it finished. And this is it. As you can see, the quality is still good and everything seems fine. The only issue is just the way the hand folds here, but overall everything is clean. A regeneration or better prompting can fix it. Okay, so now that we're done with the video, how can we make her talk with her audience? For this, maybe we can bring this one and then we just download it. Now, how can we make her talk in order to attract more fans? For that, you can just go to, or rather simply go back to the RenderNet homepage, which is here. Then you can select narrator here then simply upload the video. Once you have uploaded it, this is the place for the voices. Yourself, then you will know how to live. Government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. Not what we have, but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance. Just pick anyone. You can also write the script. This can be a call to action or anything you want. Then click generate. It should start. It's done and play it. Hey there, so what game do you want me to play today? Hey there, so what game do you want me to play today? As you can see, it did a wonderful job. So now essentially, if you do wish to go full time on this, then this is the app that I recommend you use. Of course, there are some other free options, but personally, I like this one because it's easier. As you can see, you can do stream face swap. So all you need is just a wig. And of course you can also act like a girl, a girl like behavior, but that isn't necessary. Then you can also do video face swap here and you can do image face swap here as well. But if you want to do this specifically for streaming, you can use this swapface.org. The link is in the description. Now, another thing you'll need is a voice changer and there are a whole lot of free options here for you to check out. It's an essential part. You can change your voice and make it sound more feminine or masculine, whichever one you decide. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.